So now that we have made a custom room, we just need to set it up. Go ahead and open up your watch. And go to this room. In this room we have details, scoreboard, and setup. In details, you can change your image here by clicking on it. And taking a picture. And then save. You can change the title, description, and you can add tags here. When you copy your room, this is making a clone of the room that you already have. You can add a name here, but you can't save it the same name. And restore, you can restore options are here. You can set up your backup in your settings. You can go to your latest save, or you can go to your backup save. If anything happens like you crash, it's best to go to your backup save to recover any information that you may have lost. And then you can save your room. And scoreboard, this is where you can join, start games, and so forth. In setup we have publish room, general setup, permissions, subrooms, game options, and roles. You can unpublish your room here. You can also publish it. When it's unpublished, it's in a private version, so no other players can join. When you publish your room, other players can join your room, then it becomes a public room. You can create a private instance of any public room, just like so. By going to the info button of the room, you can go into a private room. You can also go into a private room on other rooms as well. And general setup is the general settings of your room. In room settings, we can allow others to copy our room. This is a great way to make templates. We can support teleport VR, allow juniors, support walk VR, support screens, and disable bike auto muting. This only applies the mute if they are very loud over a period of time. In subroom settings, in subrooms, we're gonna go over this in another video. But every room is technically a subroom and can link to the main room here. So if I had other rooms, I can create doors and link them here by selecting the name and typing that in there. We'll go over this in another video. In the next page over, we have enable visible walls. You can enable visible walls like in Cyber Junk City. If you fly up to the map and you run into walls that you don't see, you can enable those here. You can also change the mood of day here and adjust the amount of players in your room here. In permissions, we have creator, co-owner, and host and everyone. You can add co-owners to your room. You can add hosts to your room. Co-owners can save your room. You can change the permissions here by clicking on the gear symbol. Change creative permissions, social permissions, and miscellaneous permissions. It is important to note that if something happens to your room, it can be shut down. If a co-owner changes the room or behaves in a way that violates the code of conduct, it could impact your room. So choose your co-owners and host wisely. In subrooms, if we had link rooms, we can view all those rooms here. In game options, we can start game or end game depending on the circuitry in our room. In roles, you can set your roles here. You can go to the settings for shared, walk VR, teleport VR, and screen. You can also add roles, but we're going to go over adding roles in another tutorial. That's an overview of some of the custom room settings. We'll cover some of the settings in more detail soon.